Hi everybody, my name is Mike Russlander and I am the owner, operator, and uh, chief floor sweeper of Russlander Knives. Um, I've made a few knives in my day. Um, mostly I'm a hobbyist. I have sold several. Um, I strive for quality. I also collect a lot of knives and I've been interested in knives and swords and other edged weaponry for all my adult life and probably most of my young life as well. Um, there's a whole lot of research to be done out there on the internet, also in books. Um, these are a couple of books that I have right here that are very interesting books about swords and therefore um, that kind of sparked my interest in actually buying a reproductive sword or rather a reproduction sword. Um, I've never owned a proper sword before and I wanted something real and of course I needed to see something in the budget friendly area so I started doing a lot of research and I was determining exactly what I wanted to go with. Again I've got knives and lots of different styles, a lot of handmade knives, a lot of cheat knives and everything. Um, so I've got these two books in particular that I started looking through and they're very, very helpful. Um, this book in particular was really, really good and I've always had probably the biggest interest in, I would say, 14th century European knives, swords rather. So I went ahead and I kind of did a lot of research as I say, I looked at different brands. Um, most of them are all imported nowadays, so I wanted to look for quality and I wanted to look for you know, a reasonable price, good specifications and things like that. So what I decided on for my first sword was the Ronin Katana Crusader. It's a two-handed long sword. It's called the Euro Model 13. It's a 45 inch long sword made of hardened 1075 spring steel with a peened tang. It has a wood core handle and scabbard that are leather wrapped and it also comes with a belt. Um, the handle is 7.2 inches long. It's uh, with the pommel it's a pretty good 9 inches and the blade is 35 and a half inches. So it arrived today. I'm pretty pumped. Um, I've seen pictures of it. I've seen it on the internet but I've never seen it in real life and we are going to do an unboxing. So. Let's have a look, shall we? And open it. It looks like it's in good shape as far as the packaging. No dings or dents or damage that I can see. All right. A lot of tape on it. Sorry about blocking my uh, self from the view. So let's see what it looks like, shall we? Another box inside. All right. It appears that it's empty. My little companion here will probably want to play with that, so you might hear some noise in the background where he's experimenting with the box. And got some more tape. Again, the boxes look like they're good quality boxes. They're not like little cheap half paper stuff that they use to put everything in. So here it comes. Ooh, what we have, nice, is it's pretty well packaged as you can see. It's got styrofoam to protect it, held it in place. It looks really nice so far. All right, we'll get all that junk off of there. It's actually that rubberized styrofoam. It had uh, styrofoam tips at the end. Get rid of this box. Out there, bud. Comes in a plastic bag. Put them over here, and it's tied. So it's a good thing I have my little handy pocket knife here. Take him off. And so here is that belt I was talking about. I don't have any clue how that goes on right at the moment. Um, it is leather. 
It's relatively thin gauge. It's got a decent finish on it. Quite honestly, I will probably take this off. I, uh, I don't really know if I want that on there. But the handle looks real, or the scabbard rather, looks real nice. It has um, a nice silver uh, metal tip on there, kind of a brushed finish. Um, ooh, it appears it's got a scratch on it right there. It's a little pretty deep scratch too, but I'm not real, real worried about that. Um, this part looks okay. And here we've got the handle. It's got some wrapping around it, so let's take that off. See what we got here. This is made in China. Um, one of the other brands I looked at quite heavily was the Windless Cutlery brands. Um, they're made in India. They, a lot of these actually do a lot of research and try to create something that's relatively historically accurate based on things that have been found. Um, so I'm not a complete expert by any means on any of this. So let's see what we got here. Here's the pommel. It's got a peened end. It has a cool little cross. I don't know if you can see that on both sides. This is the leather handle. Um, does have a seam running down here that is sewn. It feels pretty sturdy. Let's take it out of the sheath. Scabbard rod. Here's the blade. Um, it does have some of that grease on there. It'll need to be wiped off. Ooh, it's sharp. It is sharp. I mean, I would not run my finger across the edge. Let's put it that way. It's, it seems to be very sharp. It looks like it's relatively evenly ground. It's got this nice blood groove going down it. Yeah, it's got a lot of this oily stuff on there. That's why I'm holding it. Usually I'm definitely opposed to uh, putting my fingers on the blades, but I'll wipe all that off. Um, there is absolutely nothing on here that uh, is loose or shaky or wobbly. It's, it's very sturdy. Um, probably I wish, if I had a wish, that it would be a little bit better fit there at the guard, where the guard uh, meets the blade. But it's, it's not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's see, the center of balance is right about here. Ooh, and I almost cut myself too. Let's see here. So anyway, you get the idea, it's right about somewhere here. I don't want to drop it, I don't want to mess up the table. My wife will kill me. Um, it holds off the hands. There's definitely room for the hands. Um, it's not really, really sharp here on the corners where the guard is, so that's a good thing. I'm not much on maneuvering these, but it does seem like it uh, goes where you point it or where you sweep it. So, basically again, this is the Sword of Katana. Crusader Model 13, and uh, all in all, I think it's pretty good. I may actually follow up and uh, do a little video testing it, you know, chopping bottles, folded up carpet, you know, the usual tests. But at this point, this was my first unboxing, my first sword, and all in all, I'm pretty happy. So thank you very much for watching. This is Mike Russlander signing out.